Hey Gated Horse Riders, I want to talk about how you can train your horse to stop. No matter what bit you're using, whether you use a bit, a bitless bridle, a halter, a hackamore, and it's all about the training. So let's take a look at what it looks like when your horse can stop on a dime. Okay, well, maybe not a stop on a dime, maybe not a sliding stop, but the horse is stopping with light pressure or stopping just off your voice or just off your seat. All right, so I'm gonna, in a minute, I'm gonna show you this video, it's about 12 minutes long from the clinic I did in Florida with one of the horses um, who would stop with a snaffle, but would kind of creep forward and not stop really well. So in just 12 minutes of riding, it's the whole thing, you'll see I take her where she really creeps forward. And again, she's not rushing, but she just doesn't want to stop well to where she would stop really well um, with a light touch of the reins or even just my voice or just my seat. Um, so along with this video is I'm going to challenge you um, that in the next two weeks or whenever you have good weather or whenever you see this video, uh, that sometime in the next two weeks that you make sure that you go and work on this 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes the next time you ride. That's all it is, 10 minutes. It's not very much time, maybe less than that if your horse does well. And then if possible, the next three times you ride, if you work on it, 10 minutes the first time and five minutes the next two times, I wanna challenge you to do that. And then I want you to, on this, uh, I want you to comment on this video or email me or find some way to contact me. Let me know how it goes. I really wanna hear what your results are and if you're having any trouble, come to me, tell me what the problem is, and I want to be there to help you fix it. But I want you to see this, and it's about, it's not about the bit. It's about training the horse, and you can do it in anything. I mean, you can do this in a neck rope, you can do this without a bridle, but whatever you do, please be safe. So I'm just going to go through what I do in the video, and then you can watch the video uh, live. I'm not going to do a voiceover, you just hear the instructions as I'm riding. And then if you have questions, you know, go ahead and comment or email me. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to train your horse to stop off of three separate cues. Off of the rein pressure, gently pulling back with both reins. Off voice cue of whoa. And off of you sitting back just a little bit and then opening your legs so that they're not touching the horse's side. So you train all of those three separately and then if you put those, if you've done the training all those separately, when you put those together, your horse will stop. It's amazing how well it works and how quickly. It doesn't take that much time. We're not talking about weeks or months. I'm talking about minutes. Minutes to see a change. So it's about the training and not the bit or the tool you're using. A lot of people say, I bought the Rocking S Ray Snaffle, but now I can't stop my horse. Well, that is not an actual problem with the bit. It's an actual problem with the training. And the good news is that if you just look at training as uh, a chance to problem solve, you can go back and you can fix that so simply. So watch this video. If you have any questions, comment below, um, comment on if it's on Facebook, comment on if it's in YouTube. And if you're not sure, you go ahead and email me uh, and let me know what you think. Um, uh, and, and I think you'll really enjoy this. And I think it's gonna help a lot of you get control of your horses. Now you can use the same thing for training your horse to slow down. Um, just kind of modify it a little bit. Um, so again, I would like to hear if you have any problems about that, and I would love to hear any stories about how this has worked for you. Um, secondly, I want to talk about uh, a new product uh, thing that I'm launching. So basically, um, with the launch of this video, I'm going to be launching a private Facebook group. It's going to cost $50, and it's just a one-time fee, and you get lifetime access. So no reoccurring fees. Um, there's going to be special videos and challenges like this one available for free on that Facebook group and it's going to be my Facebook group. Um, so I'm going to be the one that's on there. I'm going to be replying to questions. You can post videos. It's going to be for people like you that have gated horses, that want to learn how to better relationship, that want to spend time training. So if you just want the magic bullet to get your horse gating, maybe this is not the site for you, but if you want to know how to train your horse to stop. Um, how to know where the girth should be on horses and how tight or how to get your horse to be good with around needles or warming um, and are interested in alternatives like maybe clicker training occasionally or using treats or doing liberty training or all kinds of things that relate to having a relationship with the horse. This will be for you. So there'll be a link up there 
I think, somewhere up there. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, and it'll go out in my email will be a link to this Facebook group again it'll be just $50 one time fee no other fees and you get lots of free extra videos that will not be available to the public and they won't be DVDs but they'll be short training videos um, excerpts from the clinics I have I have hours and hours and hours of footage from these clinics that I go to and I want to be able to share it with you but I also have to find a way to make a little bit of money so that I can keep making these videos for you um, so if you like it, uh, please sign up. That's going to be open. I will make sure that it doesn't get too full. So that would be one of the first ones. I'm probably going to cap it at about 100 people to start with. Um, so if you want to be one of those first 100, please sign up now. And I can't wait to see what we do with our horses this year. So thank you so much for watching. Take a look at this uh, video about stopping. And I hope it helps you. And enjoy the ride. The basic idea is very simple. If the horse stops well, you let them rest and you praise. If they don't stop well, like they don't stop quickly or they creep forward, then you stop and back them up. Very simple. Uh, they do need to know how to back up first. Uh, this horse knew really well and did a good job. If the horse doesn't know how to back up, you'll have to train that first and I'll do a video on that soon. If they do have a good stop, like right here, she's about to stop pretty nicely. See, really quick stop. I dropped the reins let her rest and praise her a little bit. Again, I want to emphasize stopping and resting is the big important thing here, not necessarily praising, just stop, let the horse rest for 30 seconds, just chill, not a big deal. Then you're going to ask again, and as the horse gets better and better, you gradually add more challenging things like distractions, add more speed like asking for gait or canter, and ask for the stop. Again, we're going to train three things. We're going to train it with just the reins, train with our seat and legs, and train with our voice, all those separately, so that when you need to, you can combine all those and have a really good stop. I'm going to turn the audio back on now. So you can go in and hear uh, the live view or the live audio when I was training this horse. So we're walking along, right? Get a nice forward walk. Just asking with the reins. She didn't stop well, so we're going to back up. Good. Back. Back. But I didn't really use my, my seat, and I didn't use my voice at all that time, just the reins. And she did stop, but she didn't, we're going to look for a nice stop, right? So we're just going to walk on. There's a little bit creeping forward, but, you know, she stopped. So we're going to ask for the backup. Back, 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 walk on. It was a little better. She creeped a little, but we'll give that to her because it's a little better. Next time we'll ask for more. And so you would teach it like that. So uh, you just do that, you know, and you don't, you don't want to drill in this, you know, but you knew five minutes of it. Yeah. Good girl. Or I only love training, so maybe you like to do training and so you spend more time. Okay. I love to do training. So I'm, I'm training all the time. Good. I'm not not overtraining her. But I mean, you just like to be working on things. Trail, you know, let's do something Good. I love training. I'd rather do that than trail ride. So. And then if I was going to work on, like, say, the verbal cue to stop, I wouldn't use my reins. I would say, whoa. And then I would use my reins and back up, back, 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 and walk on. No rein. Whoa. She almost had it. She almost had that there. She almost stopped. But back up, back, 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 walk on. Whoa. And I'll give it to her because, because as opposed to just walking through it, I mean, would you have thought that she would stop on just a whoa as easily? I mean, you know, you want her to do that. So good girl. She is thinking, you're right. She's like, am I supposed to stop? Good girl. Good. All right, but you, can't, you have to stop a little better than that. Got a nice little walk here. Whoa. Not a great stop, so we bat stop and back up. Back, 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 back. Good. Whoa. Almost. You can definitely see that, like, she's not just walking through it, she's really thinking about it. Good girl. Walk on. 
Whoa. Okay. They'll, they get it. They totally get this. And it doesn't take very long. Good girl. She's, her backup's getting very nice. Oh, <laughs> that, that was, I'll give her that one. That was much better. Good. So you practice all of those separately. Good. Good job. Good girl. And it, like, it doesn't take long. It's not like, oh, I have to do this for four weeks. If you do this for three or four days, you are going to find that when you say, whoa, and pull on the reins, she's going to just stop. Good girl. May not be a sliding stop, but I mean, she's just going to be like, oh yeah, brakes. Whoa, look at that. I mean, that was reins and voice. That was awesome. Good job. Good girl. Very nice. Very nice. And everything's calm. She's not getting sweaty. We're not doing anything exciting, which is the part I love with this kind of method. Good. All right, I'm gonna ask for a little bit of speed here. Whoa, I'll take that for the first one. That's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Very nice. Good girl. Whoa, and not as good, so release though, and then back up, back, 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 good girl, back, back, all right, here you go. Whoa, that was pretty good, I'll take that, that's nice, good girl, and it only gets better if you practice that, good girl. Nice job. And they learn from, they go, oh, if I stop quickly, I just get to stand here and rest. Especially the horses that like to just stop. Good girl. Good girl. Ready? Whoa. Now it's not a great stop, so back, back, good, back, 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 good. Whoa, good girl. Look, she tried. She tried really hard that time to stop. I'll right when I asked her. Good girl, good girl. She has a very nice canter. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yes. And she went right into it. Good job. <laughs> Good girl. But I mean, you can already see that rather than just keep creeping forward, she's got it. Stop a little there. Good girl. Good job. Good. <sighs> yeah, very good. There we go. And I do need to make a video on how to do that. And maybe I'll use the footage from this because we're recording this. I might use it as long as it's okay with you, just to put that video out on how to train your horse to stop. Oh, not so good. So anytime they don't stop really well and you're not like with people that aren't, you know, just back up, back, 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 back. Good, walk on. Oh, good, that was good. She just stopped, good girl, good girl. All right, so I'm going to try to see if I can get her to stop off just my seat. So no rain and no voice to start with. So I'm going to really exaggerate. So I'm going to lean back, open my legs. Uh, she stopped. Okay, good girl, good girl. That was actually the best way. And that's fine. And, and Yes, which is good. I mean, but we want to teach all of them. So like some people will only teach a horse to move off their seat, but you have to teach off the reins too and off your voice. And then you put all that together and they just like... Stop. Good. Here we go. Good. And sometimes mares especially are really... Uh, so that, not so much. So 
So we just back up. But I didn't use my voice. I didn't use the reins till I needed to make her actually stop. Good girl. Walk on. Almost. She was definitely stopping, which is awesome. So it means you've done a lot of work on, you know, seat and, and you've done a lot of really good training with her. Good girl. And walk on. I want her actually walking. Nope. Back. Good girl. But she's getting re pretty responsive to the reins there. Good girl. Good girl. I like that she is thinking about stopping, but I'm trying to be like perfectionist kind of here. Good girl. Good. Oh, nah, I'll give it to her. I want her to do well, right? I want her to do well. I want her to keep thinking. Good girl. Good girl. Nice job. Want it a little better though. And that's why if you do this training, even like I said, three or four days, 20 or 30 minutes, and you just work on each of these, that's why you have horses that you can just drop the reins and they'll stop. Not quite. There you go. Back, 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 back back. Good girl. And walk. Good girl. It's pretty good. I'll take that, especially just off of the seat. Good girl. Good girl. I like that she slows down right away. We didn't get a stop right away, but she slowed down immediately. That's good. Good girl. Good. So we're going to see about putting them all together that we've been practicing. We're just going to do it at the walk first. We got a nice forward walk. Whoa. Good. She stopped. Good. Very light on the reins. We're not having to pull hard. Good girl. There you go. Oh, nice job. Good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Oh. And right at the end, it wasn't perfect, but she slows down so fast. And they just, they get better at that so quick. So, all right. I'll have you get on and ride and do some of that. Oh, good girl. And they'll get lazy. Like if, if she does, if you do really well at it for three or four days and she's doing great, but then you, you know, you let her creep. She'll just go back to creeping. 